So we're looking at several different layout te techniques from the W3.CSS. And you can see that I actually want to use a code inspector here to point things out to you. That's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. OK, so let's look at the different components. I'm using basic layout. This top portion here is a container. And that has a blue-gray background, which automatically makes the text white. Then I have a class, which is a container. And I've changed, put in a border with a hover border. I have an aside. And that's down at the bottom here. This layout requires inline block to make the cards flow from left to right. And then inside of the main class, I have a bunch of cards. And card layout is really giving you that 3D effect. These are the cards, and they're hovering over the background with a shadow. And so I have the WD card 8, and the 8 has to do with how big the shadow is around it. So if I change this to 4, And I'll do that for a couple of them. Ooh, and that makes things funky before, because I've got everything lined up in a specific way. That can change your layout, changes your layout. I can put it back by hitting Refresh. One of the other things important here, let's take a look at how those are set up. They're set up to 30%, and that's because of the styles that I'm applying. Now, it's critical to note that my W3 card 8 I set to display inline block. If I turn off that, they all appear in a single row. And I've seen that happening to on a couple of years. The inline block is what lets it be, again, in line for the block layout. So it puts it side by side till it overlaps. Now I had to play with the amount of padding on either side to get it fit to fit nicely in here. And it's not really responsive yet. And we can test this in a couple of different sizes. It shrinks things. It's not responsive. We're going to modify this to use our grid layout with it, which we can do some interesting things, which will actually really improve the appearance of it. But it's not responsive at this point. When we take the same layout and add a grid to it, we're going to make it responsive, and we're going to make it look a lot better. But for right now, it's not responsive, but it is set up nicely on a percentage base. And you'll notice that my margin is also a percent, and that's putting a 1.25% margin all the way around, top, bottom, side, and side. So what I really wanted you to do that with this exercise is use container layouts, and I've got a couple of them here. Use panel layouts, which I've got here in the footer. And I really wanted you to work with the card layout because this is something that you're going to see all over the place. I think Pinterest is a good example of it. And it's going to be something we come back to as we start working with columns because columns can make this look significantly better because by using columns, we can get rid of the gaps here. And so this layout is preparing us for that one.